starting off in the sitting room, um, I want you to remember that first of all, there's a wall there on the left. There's a very, very ugly gas fire in front of you. There's brackets for a TV there. Um, ugly painting colour on the wall. Um, some corner thing. And yeah, so I want you to take you into my lovely new room. There's shelves there, a beautiful, beautiful fireplace, which is a hundred times nicer than the other one. I've started painting the walls white. I've put in some fitted shelves there. Obviously, knocked that giant big hole in. I think it just opens up and makes the room look so much bigger. So now onto the dining room. This used to be separate, and there's a door frame here, which there is not anymore. Um, just got some brackets for some more shelves there. But now the only way into this room is through the hole in the wall. I've blocked off that wall, but that's where the door used to be there. Um, I'm planning to put some French doors in where this window is, but I haven't quite got round to it yet, and it's on the list of things to do. I started sanding these floorboards, but they didn't come out too good, so I think I'm just going to paint them. Yeah, and that's the hole from the other angle. So now, coming on to the bathroom, I want you to... Remember how ugly these froggy tiles were in here and this ugly brown bath. And to be honest, the work that I've done here so far has been more kind of destructive rather than constructive. But the froggy tiles are off the bath and the sink. I started doing my first coat on the bath. Um, it's just taking a long time. The froggy tiles are still in the shower, but I'm ripping this whole unit out eventually when I get round to it again. The bathroom is honestly the room that I've done the least in, but I'll get round to it. Ignore that extension lead in the bath, I don't know what that's doing there. So now onto the spare bedroom. There's a million desks everywhere, like shelving, and I don't know why, but these were nailed in with screws so long so when we tried to take the screws out I ended up ripping half the wall off with it I was just trying to show you there that the ceiling just had some plasterboard put on and I've painted it white and it just looks so smooth and beautiful and a hundred times better than it did before kind of spilled paint everywhere but that floor's not staying now onto the master bedroom there's some very ugly fitted wardrobes there there's some very ugly wallpaper there is some very very ugly carpet down on the floor there's also a random headboard. I am really not sure what that was doing there. But now onto beautiful sanded floorboards. These haven't been polished yet, but it's a progress, a work in progress. Those cupboards have now been ripped out. I think the room looks so much bigger now, but that's obviously because I haven't got any furniture in probably. Um, I've started wallpapering here, just putting my lining paper up, and the ceiling has been plastered. I wish I'd take a picture of it before. It was so cracked, and there were some awful old ceiling rows that just looked terrible. 